Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to another Star Wars Vintage Collection review. We've got the last of the three clone commander, cloned ARC Trooper commanders uh, that have come out with the 20th anniversary of the Clone Wars. We have the King of the Ballroom, ARC Commander Blitz. Really nice looking image there on the card back. Not unlike Havoc and Colt that have preceded him. And here on the back you do have the three figures, Commander Havoc, Commander Colt, and Commander Blitz. We do have the four repacked figures from Return of the Jedi there, Salt Marie, Yakface, uh, Wolf, Nick Dokithaba, and Darth Vader Death Star 2, which I have just reviewed. Um, so this figure's, figure's been out for a few weeks now. Um, nice to have him in hand. Here's VC282, edging ever closer to that 300, which is outrageous. <laughs> So yeah, another nice addition to the clone arc trooper ranks. Um, you know, unfortunately, I have been sucked in. I'm still hunting for the Battlefront 2 arc trooper, that sort of standard one with the red markings and the Lambent Seeker. I did get the Umbra trooper, but I'm, I am hunting down those other two. Um, but yeah, being, have, being able to get these these three Clone Wars ones recently has been uh, been really nice, actually. So he's, he's another good looking clone. You know, why not reuse these Arc Trooper molds? Um, so far they've gotten, I think nine different figures out of it. Maybe more now. I think nine, if I've, if I've counted correctly. I dare say they're probably not done. So he does come with two little blaster pistols that do fit in his holster. One of them has sort of gone, gone missing, but it will turn up. I've, I've had him on the the bedside table in the bedroom um as, as you do i like to just sort of keep figures close by sometimes and he was sort of with all my stuff when i moved house so um yeah just haven't brought him out of there yet and my cat um has a tendency to like pushing things off the edge um as all cats do so i dare say one of them will show up uh eventually i do have plenty of spares so it's not a big deal um yeah, it does have the, the larger DC-15 and smaller blaster rifle there, which is pegged into the backpack, which is always nice. And the whole backpack pauldron chest armor combo is removable, but I have glued mine on. Um, the only one, the only difference with this one is I've had a lot of trouble taking his helmet off. Um, so I'm not sure how I'm going to go. Popping that off, this one's been really tight for some reason, where the other two have been quite simple. Um, I don't think there's a change in the mold, uh, anything like that. It's just been a, a tough helmet to get off. So I'm going to do my best here, but forgive me if I, if I can't. So it was slowly getting there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a pain, this one. Um, We'll just fast forward until it's off. All right, there we have Blitz, Sans Helmet. And I'm guessing just cause the sculpt of his haircut, it's a little bit squarer. Uh, once you get that sort of rounded helmet on it, just sort of the edges just sort of box it in there a little bit, but it's really nice. Um, really nicely done that one. Nicely detailed, looks good. I do like the diamond pattern. Again, this was one of the two that I didn't miss, that I didn't get a hold of in the Clone Wars animated series. The only one I got there was Colt. Um, so Blitz and, and Havoc were ones that I missed out on uh, back in the day. And they are quite hard to get now. So to have these in, in TVC in three and three quarter inch, you know, I'm, I'm happy to have these in, in, in lieu of those. Maybe one day I'll, I'll go back and grab those as harder to find uh, Arc Troopers from the Clone Wars line, but um, just because they were the two that came out in in multi packs that just weren't widely distributed, at least here in Australia. Um, but yeah, time to uh, wedge this helmet back on. It looks good. Looks good with the helmet on. The range finder is, is working, which is nice. It's nice to display these. It'll be nice to display these three together. You know, each sporting their different weapons. I've got 
this one with the rifle, one with the shorter one, then the other one with the two blaster pistols, so that's nice. It's got all the good articulation you can hope for in these three and three quarter inch figures now. Uh, they're all pretty solid. And the Art Trooper sculpt is, uh, you know, definitely a good one. The helmets don't feel too big like the regular Phase 2 clones. Maybe a, maybe a little on the big side, but I don't think, you know, with all the other pauldron and all the other bits and pieces that sort of fill him out, it doesn't look as bad. But I'd love for Hasbro to work on those regular Phase 2 helmets just to, uh, just to tweak them a little bit, just make it a little bit smaller. Um, don't even need to replace, swap out head, don't even need a removable helmet, just give them a nice solid helmet like they have done in the past. So there is Art Commander Blitz, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this review. I'm glad to have both Blitz, Havoc, and Colt together. I think they look great. I'm going to dig the other two out, and I'll do a bit of a group shot for the gram. But thank you very much for tuning in. Please send out down below. Please give us a comment, subscribe, like, all those good things. And we'll see you on the next one. May the force be with you.